because Jesus is the one who said, learn from me for I'm gentle and humble of heart. So Jesus alone can really teach us what is real humility. He did not even have a, even a fraction of pride, even for a fraction of a second in his life. He always was a zero before his father and humbled himself to that most. Although he was almighty God, he humbled himself to the lowliest and so he could be flooded with the spirit of heaven, the fragrance and life of heaven through the Holy Spirit, immeasurably beyond measure, as we read in John 3.34. And we need to learn that humility from Jesus, who said in John 5.19 and 20, I can do nothing of myself unless it is something I see my father doing. And whatever the father shows me doing, I also do in like manner. And greater things than these that the father will show me that you all will marvel. The father loves me and will show me greater things than this, he says. To him. And uh, that was that is the perfect expression of humility where he did nothing of himself. He always in helpless childlike dependence look unto the father. We need to learn from Jesus more and more. And uh, Christian life is a journey in humility. Uh, Matthew 18, 3 says about, unless you become like little children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. That is, you know, the initial humbling experience to be born again. And then Matthew 18, 4 says about, uh, he who humbles himself like this child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So the Christian growth is a growth in humility and proportionate to that growth in humility could be the growth in Christ-likeness uh, through the Holy Spirit because the more we are humble, the more the Holy Spirit would be able to flood our hearts. That's why humility is not mentioned as a part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5, 22 and 23 because only if we respond and humble ourselves and surrender ourselves to the Lord, the Holy Spirit can flood us and the Holy Spirit can flood us with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, faith and faithfulness and generalness and self-control. And also the Lord only can help us to humble ourselves. The Holy Spirit is prompting us, of course, the uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So the God is always prompting us to go down the way of the cross, showing us Jesus to become a zero, to remain a zero before the Lord. Pray. And the Lord only can give us that prompting, but we need to respond to that prompting. There is a part from our part also, there is a, there should be a response, but if everything was from the Lord's side, then we had to be say that God is partial, that some people are more godly and some people are less godly. But, uh, we, there is a response from our part also. So God is the one who is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the author and finisher of our humility also. He only uh, initiates that prompting and we need to respond to that every time and we all have fallen short of his glory and we all are sinners fallen short of his glory. Romans 3.23, that means we all are basically really proud people, more proud than we think. <laughs> so the Lord has to show us the depravity of our flesh, that, that nothing good dwells in us. Romans 7.18 and the true humility, as we heard from Brother Zach Scott, to acknowledge that there is nothing good dwelling in ourselves so we can i cannot look into myself but i can fix my eyes upon jesus the other i finish up my faith and learn from him how he was humble this will show me how jesus was humble with the standard when he faced many trials and testing in his life so like that progressively not all on a sudden but progressively step by step when we walk this way of the cross more, we will become humbler and humbler like Jesus. And when Jesus comes again, we will be, you know, we'll, we'll not be having the flesh any longer. So there is no pride any longer. When Jesus comes back, we'll be fully like Jesus. The pride is in our self-will, self -will is in our, it is in our flesh. So the more our flesh is broken, the more our self or our pride is broken, and when Jesus comes back, that self is taken away. Uh, you know, we no longer has have that flesh. We'll be fully like the Lord with the body of resurrection. But the glory of the character of Jesus will be proportionate to how much we are partaken of that glory on earth as we walk on this earth, learning from Jesus the humility, taking his yoke. 
here to take his yoke, to be yoked together to him and to hear from him and respond to his promptings and learn from him how he would have responded. And we will find real rest for our soul. We'll be entering the rest in the most holy place, rest with the Lord. We'll be having the Sabbath rest, Hebrews 4, 10. One who has entered his rest has rested from his own works as God rested from him. So we'll be resting from our own works of the self so that the works of the Lord would be evident in us. Like Jesus says in John 9, 3, the blind person, the person born blind is blind uh, so that the works of God would be displayed in him. So we will also be uh, the more we enter the Sabbath rest of the Lord in humility more of the works of the Lord will be displayed in us. No longer I who live but Christ who lives in me. Galatians 2 20. And God really can make this real in our life if we, when we allow the Holy Spirit to write with the finger of God, that the Holy Spirit is the finger of God. The Holy Spirit, the finger of God has to write these words in our heart, in our spirit as we slowly cooperate with him. He's the author and finisher of our faith. So he uh, he's writing, this is trying to write humility in our spirit. This is using the finger of God, the Holy Spirit to write humility in our spirit. And we just need to cooperate and day to day life circumstances through many trials and temptations and tribulations and even through failures the Lord teaches us humility and teaches us and reveals to us that nothing good dwells in our flesh. And the humbler we are, the more peaceful and more restful we are, the more happier we are. God help us to journey forward in this uh, life of Christ more and more and learn humility from him.